Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGem007, and today we're looking at the Pixel Printer plugin. Now you can see a bit of demonstration around me showing you how this plugin works. It allows you to grab images from the internet and put them into Minecraft. It also allows you to grab the skin of your favorite YouTubers and create a statue of them, which is really cool. So first of all, we are going to go through some commands. So if we do pp help, that will show us page one. PP help 2 will show us the second page. Now the first thing we need to do is set the amount of blocks that are placed per tick. Now as you know, or you might not know, there are 20 ticks in a second, so if you set this number too high, it might lag out your game. So if we go ahead and do set load count, and choose a number, so it recommends 10 if you have an older PC, but we are going to go with 20 as my computer's uh, pretty new, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and create one of these awesome masterpieces. So first of all, we want to grab an image off the internet. I've grabbed a URL of a chicken, and we are going to go here and place it. So the first thing we need to do is download it into your server file by doing pp d for download, or di for download image. So the first one, d, downloads it as a txt file. The di downloads it as a jpeg, gif, or png. It doesn't matter which one you choose, you still get the same result. But we're going to download it as an image, and we're going to call it pick one and then paste in the URL after. Once you've done that, you can hit enter and it should say completed and then give you the file name. Now remember that file name because it's important when we create it. So let's go ahead and place it about here. We're going to hit F3 and we can see that we are facing north, uh, which is important when you place it. So if we do PP, create, and we want it to be going in the direction of south. So let's put that in there and then the file name. So the file name is pick1.jpg and then we are going to select the height. It will automatically determine the width, but we can choose the height. So maybe 40, not too big, not too small. And it will say loading image and then done. So that is a very, very tiny image compared to this huge one over here. But as you can see, it is a chicken standing on some grass uh, behind some blocks of grass. And if we go really close, you can see some of the blocks that are used. Uh, it's very, very cool. Loads of weird and crazy blocks that are used to create the image that we pasted in. And from a distance, it looks really good. You can clearly see it's a chicken. But if we go close to this one, you can see that um, yeah, it's pretty crazy, some of the blocks that are used to create all the shadows and whatnot. So here I've created the same image. One is a height of 40, one's a height of 100. And obviously the larger one has more detail and looks a lot better uh, if we look at it from far away. So I'd recommend going bigger in order to have better image quality. So the second thing this plugin does is create awesome little statues like this. So we're going to fly over here and create another statue of someone. If we do PP help and then page two, look at the top, we have the create skin um, command. So if we do PP create skin, and the direction is going to be west, I think. Hopefully it faces west. And the player name or UUID. So in that case, I put my name, but I've already created my skin. So we are going to go with creeper. Um, and hopefully that is a creeper skin. So hit enter. You will get some uh, messages. And if we dig out of the skin, we will see what we have created. And there we are. We have imported the creeper skin. Um, from whoever owns that account has a really nice skin and that is how you do it like so very easy so there's a few more commands that I can show you there's the PP list command this will list all of your images that you have so you can use them again and obviously there's the PP delete command which um, is very straightforward you just delete whichever one you don't want such as t1.gif now gifs are not currently fully supported I've uh, tried to create one here but I haven't had much luck so hopefully the developer sorts that out very soon and then you can have GIFs on your server as well. So that is everything in game. So here we are in the pixel printer folder and as you can see there is a config.yml and two folders. Now if we go into the custom textures this is pretty awesome. So it allows for server wide resource pack support which increases the accuracy of the pictures. So the way to do this if I select all these and delete them. Uh, go into your resource pack and uh, pick one. So I was using the Mousy Realistic. Go into Assets, go into Minecraft, go into Textures, Blocks, and select everything in here and just drag it into the custom textures folder that we were in. Uh, 
um, and there should be quite a few items, 357, and that will help to improve the accuracy of your images. Let's go ahead and go back and go into the images folder. These are all the images that you saw in game, so as I mentioned, they can either be saved as a JPEG or a TXT file, like so. And there is the helicopter that you saw in game, and there is the chicken that you saw in game. Finally, we have the config.yml. Now in here we have the load count which we set via command. Uh, we have auto update set to true and we have a whitelist. So you can set this to true and it will only use these materials or it will just use this full list. So if we scroll down, you'll see a long, long list of materials that it will use to create the different images. So that is everything in the uh, config file. If you want to download the plugin, the link will be in the description. If you want the server to host it on, check out servermind.com for the best and cheapest servers around. And if you want to check me out, my link will be in the description as well. But that is it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.